I set this desk up with my husband and today I'm trying to um, reorganize some stuff in my studio so I can finally really use this desk. <laughs> I am very excited. <laughs> well, let's get started. Today I have a really good and happy news for this little tiny channel. <laughs> I got some gifts from FlexiSpot. Um, I got this nice desk and a chair. The desk that I got from them is called Komar. It's quite customizable as your preference. You can choose desktop material between chipboard, bamboo texture, glass, and also the sizes between 48 inches by 24 inches or 55 inches to 28 inches if you need some more bigger space. Also, you can choose desktop color between white, black, maple, and special walnut. The availability of different types of colors and stuff might be different depending on which desk you want to choose though. I chose white color with a glass top because I wanted to um, use some glass markers to write some things down or draw some things or something like that. Also, one of the things that I thought it was really nice is that it was pretty easy to assemble. This desk didn't take a long time at all. Um, I do have another standing desk that I got in the past from a different brand, but it took a while to assemble it and it was giving both me and my husband a headache. But this FlexiSpot desk is just it was really easy peasy. And this nice chair that I got from them is called C7, which is premium ergonomic chair that has adjustable handle height. And you can also adjust your lower back and your neck. And also you can adjust your bottom part, like your hip and stuff which was really eye-opening for me you can totally like make it really comfortable for your own body and also you have this option to put foot rest if you want to um yeah mine doesn't have a foot rest but you can add it when you order if you want and today's topic is related to desks so yeah let's check this video together Do you have a dream that you want to achieve? Congrats! Or did you just start having dreams? Also congrats! To make your dream come true, it's time to operate some things that have set in your mind. What should you do first? If you're not sure about what your first step should be, listen to my story. I can give you a hint. Today I want to talk about desks. Yes, it's related to desks. Everything started from a desk for me. They helped me to be separated from the world and create my own world that is filled with my dreams. My first desk after moving to America was a small one could not even really call it as space because it was super tiny but I was mentally taking it as a serious space for myself. I believed it was one of the essential things to operate myself to achieve my dreams. Of course it would have been fantastic if I had a nice and big studio for myself but I couldn't afford it. When I moved to America I started with renting a small room in a house, but that didn't even have a personal bathroom. That small room had to fulfill all the purposes to live. I ate there, I slept there, I changed my outfit there, and I dreamed there. I desperately wanted some space that could fully dedicate to my dreams. And I looked at a tiny desk in my room that was provided in my room while I stayed. 
That is how everything started. After I moved up from that place and got married, we rented a townhouse that had one bedroom. Which meant I had a living room too, so I thought I could do whatever on my dining table in my living room. But I was wrong. On the dining table, many things can happen. Yes, you can work, but you also can eat there, have friends there and chat with them, drink, and so on. So when I tried to do anything dream related, my mind got scattered. My brain didn't recognize my dining table as some dedicated space just for my dream. My brain was so confused. So I decided to get a tiny lab desk that is way smaller than my first desk that I mentioned before, but foldable. I think it was like 15 to 20 bucks back then. Anyways, I started reading there, writing journals, painting, drawing, and so on. And after we got another dining table as we moved to a house, I moved our old dining table into my little studio room and used it as a desk. I didn't eat or did anything else on that. You can see that table in some of my earlier videos. <laughs> anyway, Last year, I finally got an actual desk. I chose a height adjustable desk that can help with my postures and stuff. And my brain goes to quote unquote operate mode as I sit in front of it. I believe most of you spend most of your day with your desk. If you don't think so, you might not have noticed it yet. All the things that you do on your desk has magic power. Desks are your friends, supporters, and cheerleaders as you move forward to achieve your dreams. Desks and us can be emotionally connected and they have very important roles as some dedicated and determined space for our dreams. If you can, I also recommend to have different desks for different types of works. For me, I try to have two desks. One is for digital works and some administration works, and the other one is for more tangible works. I don't know if any of you have noticed through my videos that I haven't really painted on my standing desk that I had before. I have painted on my little coffee table on the floor, or I used an easel. This also helps me have different mindset on different types of works. When I'm using my little coffee table and easel to draw, my mind feels more flexible and artistic. I know that I'm allowed to make mistakes and be more adventurous there. On the other desk, I feel more organized and I can be a bit more rational here and can have more serious thoughts and questions that feed into my dreams. And I have wanted to have a more proper second desk for a while. As I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, my back hurts so much sitting on the floor for hours and hours. And luckily, FlexiSpot gifted me this nice desk and a chair. Thanks so much for providing those products, FlexiSpot. I am really excited to use them and freely expand my dreams on this desk and chair. Standing desks became one of my essential daily items when I work or playing with art. I have them in different heights as I need, and in addition to reducing my back pain, sometimes I can focus more and it feels refreshing when I stand up instead of sitting down. I think they are great for people who work or study for hours and hours. And especially about the FlexiSpot's desks, I love them especially because they give you more options to customize your desk 
and mine has a drawer which saves me some storage space that is super useful. I'm so glad that I can put my go-to sketchbook and some other things in this drawer and pull things out without thinking, like I showed you earlier. I think drawers for your desks feel almost the same as pockets for your pants. I'm sure you like this drawer too. Another thing that made my jaw drop was that this desk has USB ports that you can charge your devices when you need. It's so simple and nice that I don't need to worry about my iPad or my phone dying. I love this desk so much. Do you remember when you got your very first desk when you were a kid? The moments that you were so excited to think about all the things that you could do on your desks? If you haven't had that kind of memory or experience, maybe think about getting yourself a desk. To have your own desk can mean that you're a step closer to your dreams. And if you do have similar experiences like me and if you also have been looking for a nice desk and a chair, consider to check out FlexiSpot. The link to their website and the products that I have here are in the description box. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a chance to think about what kind of space you have to achieve your dream. And please share your own things that help you keep going for your dreams in the comment if you want to share with me. I appreciate all of you and please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to be on this dream journey with me. Hitting the notification button will be helpful for us to hang out more easier. See you in the next video.